Hey you guys, it's me Kamora Black from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9 and I'm here to show you guys how to do the most sexiest smoky eye and look inspired by me. So I'm gonna take you from this to this. First, I mean obviously I have very thick brows so I have to glue my brows down. This is actually the part that I hate the most because I have to wait. So. Um, usually there is a way that I do my brows is if you have thick brow hair You kind of have to take the glue stick and kind of like go back and forth and like really get up in there So I go like this You can make like a mess because it's all gonna be perfect When it's finished and I'm gonna show you guys how and if you guys have like a blow dryer This would really definitely help because it'll speed the process up but What happens when you're in the car getting ready for a gig? You don't really have a blow dryer. Don't laugh at me, because I actually use like this little like hot glued like eyebrow slash comb thing. And it's like my favorite tool in the thing. And it's just basically for me to just kind of comb the brows up and get it like flat. So all my like all my butch queens that has thick brows, you guys know that you guys have to like comb the brows up. Cause when you comb the brows up, it gives you like a flatter surface. I love to cover my brows because I just love looking like a guy into a woman. Like, I just love being a boy one day and then being a girl. Like, I love transformation, so. So as that dries, I'm gonna prep my skin. I love primer because it's like, I mean, it's like an appetizer to a, you know, to a meal. And I just shaved too, so. My skin is so smooth down here because you guys know I can grow a really good beard. As I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm just gonna start to kind of put the foundation on. It's really important, you guys, that your foundation matches your skin color because I've been in situations where I've taken like this really, you know, apparently hot photo and when you take a look, your face is lighter. So it took me a very long time to get my color. And I'm a tanner too, so when you're tanning, you gotta make sure you can match your color. And it's so hard. And then when it comes to like foundation, I love to get it everywhere. Like some people like to do like the stripe thing. I like to actually just cover my face with it. Completely. And I'm just going around my eyebrows because I'm waiting for it to dry still. I'm a beauty blender queen. Like, I mean, I love brushes, but I love like blenders. Like it's... A good sponge is amazing, and I'll show you guys why. Because it just like makes all the foundation go into your pores. I just love it. I love it. Like that. So I take the highlight, and I honestly, from my face structure, like I have cheekbones. Like I don't need to really highlight all up, but I actually do. Like I look like a raccoon sometimes. So I love to highlight right here. Oh yeah. And I do like, go like that. I love a good nose. I love to have like a nose like you're just walking down like Beverly Hills with the best nose job and you're about to make like a large purchase. So it's just like that. So now I go back and I like to kind of just blend out the edges. And when I mean edges, like these are the edges. Same beauty blender, you guys. Same one. I used to contour first, but when I contour first, what I notice is that I go really dark and then my light is not as like perfect as I want. So it's easy to get the light on than the dark on first, if that makes sense. Like, you can erase the dark, but you can't erase the light. I mean, look at this, like, bonita. Just, just bonita. My brows are really good. Okay, so you kind of want to use your favorite translucent powder of some size. It's just like that white powder. It looks like flour. If you have flour in the kitchen, go get the flour. Anything that's white and it goes on clear, use it. So I like to take a little sponge. I like to actually press it like this. Take like a big brush and just kind of wipe off, you know, dust up all the excess. I go back with this like skin color. Just to make sure it's like, you know, completely cover you guys. Cause I've been in situations and shows where like my eyes popped. Like when I say pop means like your eyebrows are like go like this. And then I'm just still gonna blend it out. And Kimora's always just been like her makeup's always been like high contour, high highlight, completely sculpted. Like, I have this obsession with Raven because her makeup is like gorgeous. And I kind of like want to be like her because the way she sculpts is beautiful. So I just love like that bronzy like sculpt. So 
Eyebrows are covered, skin is covered, highlight is on, and now we get to contour. I love to contour with creams. Creams is like my jam. And the reason why I like creams is because you can kind of like sketch it out versus like just going in and like really perfect it. I'm gonna show you guys how. I like to pick three different colors. I like a caramel color, like a milk chocolate cover color, and then like a dark color. I like to have the contour like kind of go under and then I raise it up, but I take the contour and I kind of like shift it like this. So it just gives you like that like bitchy look, like just like, like don't talk to me. Like, don't talk to me unless you buy me a drink. See? I like to contour it under the cheeks, the hairline, and then I love to, I love a good strong like jawline. So I take this and I just kind of go like this. So the jawline is tricky because you know, like sometimes like Michelle will say, you don't want to have like a beard. So I'm gonna teach you ways to do it without looking like you have a beard. So the way I do it is I like to kind of start behind the ear right here and I take it, but you have to go like a little slant. Like you kind of have, you can't just go like this cause it'll look like you have like this weird shadow of a caramel color. So I go like this. See? Creams and foundation feel so icky at first cause I was really like, I couldn't stand the feeling of creams, but it just makes my makeup so easier than setting it, going with powder, and then I find that if you use like creams and things like that, it just lasts longer. Go back and I'm just gonna blend up the edges. Now, like you have like the caramel color here stretching, so you wanna go back, but you wanna kinda wanna go like halfway, like I don't like to take it here, like your contour should never hit your lip, like that's just kinda like strange. So I like to have it kinda stop here, and how I know is I kinda go like this. So like, see how it like stops right here? So that's kind of like my point. So you guys can really find, unless unless you're one of them girls that want to take like a piece of paper and go like this, then girl, I'm all about it. So I like to take it halfway, so into the hair like that, see? So I take it and I just kind of feather it up like this. And then same thing here, I like to kind of just go half, like just kind of like towards the edge like that. And then I love a good contoured hairline because it just hides your wigs and your wig line and all this. So I, I guess if I do suggest you to hide your hairline, do it. So now go back and blend. Just blend it out. Now I get the set. I'm just using a, like a generic like setting powder, you guys. I just love a good white clear powder that has no color because you're gonna go in and you're just gonna color everything. So just kind of dust it off. I love bronzer. Like, when I say bronzer, I love bronzer. I like to look like I sat on the beach from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and get like an amazing tan. So I go very severe with my contour, like severe. Just put it on your skin, you guys. Now don't put it on the highlight, like that doesn't, just doesn't make sense. You wanna put it on like where you kinda like deepen the contour. I picked here some colors. I mean, it looks like a sand color, a deeper sand color and a muddy color, I guess. So I go like this. Remember the hairline, you guys. I don't wanna see that lace front. Now I'm gonna go with like the deeper color and I'm gonna get into like this weird like muddy like brown. And that's gonna be just like pinchy right here. So this red undertone and then this darkest color right here, just kinda keep it like right here. Take like a little light color. It, it literally looks like a white, like an off, like a cream, and just kind of pinch it right here. I like to do blush next. And blush, I love like a good like orange, pink blush. Like it just makes like that, the, tr the contrast of like a highlight and a contour, like just like perfect and smooth. I'm just gonna pinch it like this. See? So nose, I like a good like pinch nose. Like I love like a good like raven, like pinch nose, like oh. pinch right there. I like to really like bring this, the bone here out first and then I kind of just take it down. Let's just take it like this. And I'm just using my like lightest sand color. I'm not really using any dark. All right, you guys, are you guys ready for your brows? <laughs> I'm a brow queen and I love a good cinch like pulled brow. So I'm gonna take an angle brush 
And believe it or not, I'm gonna just use like one of my, the darkest, like remember my dark chocolate cream color? I'm gonna use that color for my brows and I'm just gonna set it because it's brown and it's easy and it's, you can travel anywhere with it. And I just go like that. Yeah, so this is like the bottom of my brow, if that makes sense. So it just in case like, if I'm drinking like champagne or wine right now, I can mess up. I can go back and clean it. I'm gonna connect the one on top. So anyone that is wondering how to blend out like a brow, like the front, I kind of leave like this open space because that's kind of like where the blend is going to start. And what you do is just take like a beauty blender and you just kind of like blend it out and fade it out. And then we're going to make sure the other side's complete. When I blend out, I'm just going to use my highlight color because that's the color that matches right here. So I'm actually going to put it right here and it just blend it out. So see the, like, the little space right here? I just kind of take it just like this. See that? Oh my God. I take a tip of a blender and I just kind of pack it in. Take like a deep brown like eyeshadow. So take this. What I'm doing, I'm just kind of like really going in with the powder and just giving it like that extra like dramatic kick, you know? So I like to pinch the black right. Okay, so just use the highlight color, a little paintbrush. And then this is where we're really gonna perfect it. Oh, yes. Oh my God, y'all caught me on this side. Look, usually I go like this. Ah, okay. We best friends. And I just quickly set it with the, with, you know, the translucent powder. Dust it off. And now you have brows. If I'm on stage, and lights are bright. A smoky eye is so amazing because it just makes your eyes just pop and just like, boom. My little trick, I mean, I think everyone's trick, but I love it, it works for me. I do a little, like, just kind of like weird baking kind of situation where you sleep it there because what happens is that when the black drops right there, you can literally just like wipe it off. I'm gonna use maybe like about one, two, three, four, just like. 20 colors, but it's just gonna look like you have on like two. And the more transition colors you have, the fade and the more like prettier it looks. I actually do my eyeshadows with my eyes open just cause you don't really walk around with your eyes closed. So I kinda like to see what I'm what I'm doing. So when I do my eyeshadow, I just, just kinda go. Unless you're walking around with your eyes closed, whatever works. So I'm gonna go in with my color. I'm just gonna quickly just Blend it out. The way my brush is, I'm going in like this circular motion. It doesn't make sense to go like this, you guys. Like it just doesn't because you're not creating like a line. I think I have hair in my face. And I always like to blend towards the eye because it kind of keeps the color tight. Because if you blend out, it just rolls out and it, you start to create like this weird like shape. So I'm gonna use like this red undertone color. It just looks like this mahogany, like redwood color, so. And this is gonna be like your other transition color. See? So many brushes, like... I mean, you can't eat spaghetti without a fork, so you gotta have a lot of brushes. I'm just using, it looks like... Ugh, I mean, this is the type of chocolate I would never eat, but it just looks like a gray chocolate color. No. But it looks good on the eye. Let's take it. Oh, yes. So same thing with the color. I love a good smoky under eyes, so I take that, that weird color. Oh my God, you guys are gonna be like, what weird color is she talking about? What kind of chocolate is she talking about? It's like a weird, like, I don't know, like a $2.99 chocolate. But I love it, it looks good on the eyes. I like to take it and just stretch it under the eye. Now the black is very tricky, you guys, because you, you gotta make sure you can control the brush with the black, because it can get a little crazy. I'm gonna pinch the black on the edges, and then I'm gonna go in with liner, and I'm gonna connect everything. Just the edges, you guys. Nothing severe, not crazy. I don't care what liquid liner you use. As long as it's black and it dries amazing, then yes, use it. Now what I do is I take the black, and I just cover my eyes with liquid liner. And then if I have to, I go back, when I have my lashes on and I just like add a little bit more black eyeshadow just to kind of give it like this secure, like it's gonna be black all night. What a transformation. Do you guys remember what I used to look like? Okay. 
So I don't remember. So the great thing about this translucent powder, you guys, you can just always go back and just put more because you're gonna wipe it off anyways. It's always good to be safe than sorry. I'm gonna highlight the inner corners of my eye, which is my favorite because it just like makes everything like just pop. I like to use like a flat color and a shimmer color. Just like that. And then I put the little shimmer on top because who doesn't just love shimmer? Like shimmer is just beautiful. If I can swim in it, I'll swim in it. I love a good cat eye. So I take it and I just kind of create like this cat woman eye. This is the liquid liner I used before you guys. See this versus this. I think this is a little bit more daytime. This is more like nighttime. So once the black's on there, everything's set. Let's do lashes. Look how big these lashes are. Like, oh shoot, is that what I wear? Oh my God, that's so big. I like to put a lot of glue just to make sure that it's on there and it's not going anywhere. I don't put it on my actual lash line. I actually put it above and that's why the black is so important because it actually hides that. So people just think you just have like pretty lashes and there's no space in between. But I actually take it and I actually curve it like this. You guys never knew, huh? You guys were like, oh my God, Kimora, like you have such big eyes with big lashes. So this is where you can just probably wipe off all like the translucent powder because you just don't need it anymore because you're pretty much finished with your shadow. I'm just gonna pop a little glitter on the bottom. So I take, you know, whatever glue you want to use. And I just kind of like tap it on the bottom, take your glitter, and I just want to pack it. So now, do the lash on the bottom, and I just put it like kind of above the glitter so you're not blocking the glitter. Oh, I love. Y'all, I'm telling you, I used to never wear bottom lashes, but then I see all the queens wear bottom lashes. I'm like, hmm. I'm gonna give it one more shot. And once I put it on, I just fell in love. And then after that, we get into lipstick. Guess what color I'm using, you guys? Black. I just love a good, rich, dark lip. And my last name's Black, so I love black lipstick. I live for it. I either love black or like wine colors, but today I'm gonna do black because I just gotta show you guys like my favorite color is black, just like my soul. I'm a big fan of liquid lipstick because it just dries instantly. You don't have time to wait for it and you can carve out the lip perfectly. So I'm gonna do that just for you right now. Now, these are my real lips, but I overdraw like crazy. Like I love a good fluffy, puffy lip. Like, mm, like this. So I like to start on the bottom first. Take it. Oh, I mean, this could be a look. And I'm obsessed with Kylie's lips, so I like to give it like this like Kylie like wrap, you know, like, mm. so. And liquid lipstick's easy for me because I can take the brush and just kind of just curve it. And you can layer, I'm such a layered queen. The last step that I love is just a really soft shimmer highlight and then you are ready to go. Do you guys see the life I'm creating on my face? What do you guys think? Ah, oh, got the wig on, got the look, and my signature lip. This is the ultimate Kimura Black look. Come to Las Vegas and catch me on the strip. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you. <laughs>